No restaurants are open, you can't get out. So why don't you prepare something out of what you already have in your cupboards? Something delicious and something you can store for the coming months. Join me and find out. You're watching Channel 1 and this is the World Cuisine Series presented in Tangress. Let's join Romilo in his small kitchen. Hello my friends, how are you? How are you coping with the lockdown? My location, my country is also in that situation. You're not alone. We hope this will be over soon. We shall overcome. I'm cooking today a very simple recipe. It's really uh, good for these situations because it requires perhaps something in your cupboard, but because of the ease in acquiring press uh, food, they were never touched. We'll be cooking lentil soup. Thank you to Maureen of the UK who introduced me to this recipe. I learned this when Maureen and I and another group of volunteers helped in the kitchen of a conference. It was a, a Somalian Christian conference in Europe and I was tasked to prepare rice and Maureen this uh, lentil soup can be eaten as a whole meal or it can also be eaten with rice. This was our menu when we cooked this. Join me and let's cook this simple but filling lentil soup. I'll show you the ingredients. Lentil, around two cups of those. Caravan sauce, canned tomato, chicken cubes or powder, onion, cumin and powder or pepper powder. As an option, we can also add carrots. Let's prepare our ingredients. Let's start the stir fry. And the onions now. This is a soup recipe, so we should really have the uh, onions get caramelized. And something I learned, we can accelerate that by adding salt. Something I learned from the engine. Let's add the uh, lentils, around two cups of this, this much. and add water, around one liter. We can add more if needed. And the other ingredients, the chicken cube or chicken powder, Cumin, the pepper, everything. This uh, canned tomato, which I can myself and I grow myself. <laughs> Let's show away the water. Yeah. And the tomato paste. I don't think I've mentioned about this tomato paste in the list for the list of ingredients just see the description box below this is the same recipe as that of M&S Mark and Spencer in the UK for their Priyamanji, for their takeaway, pre-cooked food, they also have this. As an option, we can also add cream, coconut milk, or, or milk. We'll be doing that when we serve. 
but for the meantime let's just boil this and if you just visited today thank you and if you enjoyed watching our show consider subscribing and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will be notified of every release is happening every Friday but if your interest is in traveling try our travel channel it's about places and events of the world it's my barrio mi mundo hope to see you there also until next time and let's get back to cooking we certainly need more water here it's been boiling for 20 minutes now and look they have expanded parang mungo at this point i can add the other ingredients the carrots and the garbanzos if you want it sweeter you can add the water <laughs> yeah garbanzos or you can add any other vegetables let's say whatever you have in your fridge cauliflower perhaps and let's taste it Mm, it's sweet. I should be adding sugar, but it's it's sweet now. I don't know. I think it's a tomato that made it sweeter. If it's on the sour side, you can add just a tablespoon. No, no, not a tablespoon, but a teaspoon of sugar. This is perfect. I won't touch it. I won't add uh, sugar. This is done. Almost. Let, let's just boil until the carrot softens. And you have... A soup. I'll be conserving this. I'll be putting it in small portions and freeze it so that anytime I fancy lentil soup, I have it. Diba? Not panic buying, but I'm storing what I have. Because to be honest, I don't have anything in my cupboard. Oh, look. Mm. Tomato sauce, popcorn, nothing, nothing. The corned beef that I got from the US is still here. No reason to panic. Let's trust in the Almighty that this lockdown situations will be over. Wala pa namang nagugutom, di ba? Stay safe, my friends. Earlier I told you that I learned this from Maureen of the UK when we volunteered to cook for an Ethiopian conference. Yeah, it is after all a vegetarian dish, putting ika in sakane. And I was surprised when I was in London, Gutumako, and I bought lentil soup from MS Mark and Spencer and it tasted the same so this is mark and spencer style lentil soup you can do it at home Mura. Mura. and while cooking i'd like to show you my garden <laughs> my indoor garden that's my coriander or cilantro that we'll be using for the soup or with the soup and that's the dutch lasagna there It should be cooked now. I'm waiting now, then. This is our lentil soup. Look at that. I'll be serving it now. As I said earlier, it can be eaten with rice. Let's add some cream. Heated milk and some cilantro leaves. Press. And here's our simple and filling lentil soup today. It can be eaten alone or with rice or with bread. 
and thank you for joining me today and this serves as our international cuisine here on channel one if you enjoyed watching don't forget to come back for our other uploads Binoy food Fridays and international Mondays in between live cooking or garden until next time, your suck party and take care of yourselves. Obey the authorities. Stay at home if you really need to. Stay at home. And enjoy your own recipes. Check your cupboards. Mm. See you later. I'm going to coriander. At this point, I'd like to uh, greet our friends in Bangkok. Amalie and the family, how are you coping, my friends? And the Salcedos in Cavite, warm greetings to you. Wag nang magmukbang ng matamis na that's not healthy, I tell you. Ito ang imukbang because this is healthy. Life can be simple and delicious. Let's add rice to it. Let's just have rice here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. There's rice in it. <laughs> the cumin and the tomato sauce gives it a clue of an Indian dish. And then the creaminess of the milk does the magic. Gawa na rin kayo. Lentil soup. Ala MNS. The rest I'll be conserving. For the future. Do we have more? Let me check. Yes, my room. Facing this and this one, I'll just return it to there. I'll in another sometime. 